Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hello everyone, I'm YJ. Okay, today I'm here in Myeongdong. Here. Which is the most popular place for travelers in Seoul. So this is like a place where travelers go first when they visit Korea. Okay? So I'm gonna show you Myeongdong first. 그리고 크리스마스와 관련된 한국어를 배워볼게요. Okay? Let's go! Okay, this place used to be really crowded, especially around Christmas. But because of Corona, as you can see here, not many people are around here now. Usually, we have like hundreds of food trucks around here. But as you can see, just only one food truck. And it's like empty. But still, it's beautiful around here. Hopefully this stupid corona finish soon and people come back. Okay, 자 이제 한국어 공부를 해볼까요? 첫 번째, so what is Christmas in Korean? Basically the same, but Korean Christmas has five syllables like Christmas. It's not like Christmas, which is two syllables. It is like Christmas. 아시겠죠? 그리고 또 다른 표현, which is 성탄절. It's like a Korean word for Christmas. So say it like this to your friends. 즐거운 성탄절 보내세요. 두 번째, what about Santa? 한국 사람들은 Santa를 Santa 할아버지라고 불러요. So we add 할아버지 at the end, which means grandfather. I don't know why, but it's like a tradition. Okay? When you think about Santa, you also think about a present, right? So to wish a present from Santa, you also need this expression. Which is, Santa 할아버지, 선물 주세요. 선물 means a present. 주세요 means give me. So, it's like, Santa 할아버지, give me a present. Okay? So, repeat after me. Santa 할아버지, 선물 주세요. <웃음> 싫어. You can say many different things with this expression. 예를 들어, repeat after me. 밥 주세요. 용돈 주세요. Very good. So Christmas is, I would say, the season of love, right? So I'm gonna teach you how to say I love you to someone. You may know 사랑해, but we don't really say 사랑해 at first. It's like an expression you use when you are already in a relationship. Okay? So say it like this. 나너 좋아해. Repeat after me. 나너 좋아해. Alright, did you guys enjoy this video? 
I think I will take a break next week. I'm thinking of trying new things to teach Korean better. So, I will take some time to refresh myself and we'll be back with much better videos. Okay? I promise you. 좋아요. 모두 즐거운 성탄절 보내세요. See you in two weeks. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish